Good morning, guys. Hey guys, so do you love my videos and want to see more of me? Probably fucking not. But I do have this option right now on Patreon where for $5 you can get all my previous uh, videos. And if you sign up for the year, you get a couple months for free. We do giveaways. I do really, really cool videos like videos with Ella, my mental hospital experience. I do how to invest in your future, ranting and wedding planning. I also do me just venting and crying. I also do lives all the time. I do tipsy R-rated Q&As with Josh. There's so much on Patreon. I have over 100 videos over there. So for $5, you can watch all of them. I also have <laughs> some Would You Rathers with Olivia. I have so, so, so many videos. I also do even in videos where I smoke with Josh. There's so many things. I also do Zoom calls with my fans every single Monday where we all get to do Zoom calls and we all become best friends. It's such a great community over there. And the more subscribers that we get, the more things I have to offer over there. It's a lot more adult-rated content and way more fun. So there's over a hundred videos. I also do lives where I cook with you. I just talk with you guys. I answer every single comment. And yeah, go check it out. You know how like, the saying is like, go big or go home? What Today, I'm going to try to like kind of recreate McDonald's hash browns. I just have, oh, say hi. Say good morning. <laughs> say good morning. Say it. No? Okay. No, she um, didn't have her coffee. She didn't have her coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Banana. You, you, you want one? Sure. Okay. Um, one good rhyming. Okay. So we have um, these, these are on sale for a dollar. So that's like a Maybe lot of hash browns. And Whoa. me and Josh's favorite thing to have for breakfast is like a coffee and a hash brown from McDonald's. So I have a deep fryer and I decided when I saw these on sale, I was like, oh, I should try to deep fry them. Never used a deep fryer in my life. So I guess you guys are gonna be here for it. Um, so I'm gonna read the instructions. We're gonna try to deep fry something and then we're gonna see how it turns out. I'm not, Imagine being a yeller. I was not yelling at him. Okay. okay. Okay, so what do you have to do? I don't know, I'm scared. Okay, hold on. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. Well, it's just oil, babe. <laughs> yeah, it looks fire. Okay, and then we do one. Yeah. Oh. Two, maybe? Yeah. Two. Oh, there we go. Do I close? Yeah, you close it. And then we wait. Yeah, and then you let it do its thing. Should How we do put you... salt on it after? I don't know. I'll taste it first. I, I don't know. I'm scared. How do you feel Are about it? Keep it shut? I'd assume so, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe you're not supposed to keep it shut. Well, I mean, what, are, what what else would those vent things be for? I'm also not timing. How do you feel about it? I'm scared. It says for seven to ten minutes. I feel like they're gonna burn. I feel like they're definitely gonna burn. I would keep them in for like five. Should we just keep lifting them up and checking? No. Just keep it in for five and then take it out. Guys, I just made the best iced coffee in the world. Ice, like I, I at first I was like, "What the heck are you doing?" He put chocolate syrup and hazelnut creamer, and it tastes like a. He's like, "I'm trying to make it taste like a Ferrero Rocher." It does. It tastes just like one. What the heck? I think you put a little bit too much hazelnut. Like I think you, there should be more coffee. You should put that's some more like, coffee in there. Yeah, that's like the best iced coffee I've ever had. Me too. Oh my god. Smart. IQ 3000. Isn't the lower the IQ, the smarter you are? No, 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 that's, that's true. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, guys, they came out. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Is it not focusing? No. This camera sucks at focusing. Super sucky. Okay, hold on. Look at those. Those look, like, actually so good. Honestly, it doesn't even look that good on camera, but, like, in person, it looks, like, crazy like we'll see how they taste though for real i've never had like a i've never ever ever been anywhere with a deep fryer at, at, in a house so i've never you had, said your mom had one yeah for her when she was like my age oh. okay we're gonna try a bite of these i'll take the more burnt one it's not burnt i'm just joking <laughs> <laughs> Come here and try this. Some salt bay action. Come here. We're making two more, one for Ella and another one for Josh. It's a hash brown. Come try a bite. Let me know if you like it. It's a little crunchy, yeah. 
It's my bike because it's a little hot. Mm. Is it good? Yummy hash browns. Wow. Mm, yummy hash browns, see? This is so good. Certified. Wow. I put some salt on it. Fire. Some salt bay action. <laughs> Anyone who's watching me knows what, what uh, TikToker that's from. Um, that's dangerous. That deep fryer is dangerous. We gotta make it a thing where like we can only take it out like once a month. <laughs> I'm not lying. It passed the test. This is like a new addiction that's really bad. So it passed the test? Yeah. It looks like we're gonna start deep frying our salads too, hey? <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna yell at me, <laughs> so I recorded. <laughs> Look what I got, babe. All a new scrubber. Okay, this we need it. The, and this one is called, it's like supposed to not leak. It's called soap control. So you know how that one leaks everywhere? Yeah. This, so, this looks like it'll scrub better too. Did it come with like pads? No, just one. Oh, so probably gonna get more pads. Yeah, but this is why I bought it because apparently it's not supposed to leak. Ah. Oh, and dude. you push on it. Oh, to let the soap out? Yes. Oh, I like that better. I thought you were gonna yell at me. <laughs> okay, guys, the house is now cleaned up. So we cleaned up the kitchen. This is the living room. I just kind of redecorated a little bit as you guys saw in the last vlog. I got some things. I got like those two plants from HomeSense and I got a new rug and I love the rug way better. Um, there's just some a couple other things that I want to get. I want to get a new plant. Oh, focus. I want to get a new plant because I feel like that plant is too small for over there. So I want to get like a huge palm tree. I want to get um, some stuff to hang up up there. And yeah, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, I'm in the process of redoing my living room a little bit, so you'll see that eventually. My Roomba is just going right now. Um, and yeah, so, and I have like the fire on. <laughs> I hate me, but yeah. So me and Ella are going to my friend's son's birthday party. Ella, you wanna say hi and show them how pretty you are with your bow? <laughs> So we're going to a birthday party. I'm bringing my mac and cheese so that we can have it to eat. We just gotta put it in the oven and we have to stop at the store to get a card. Um, I got him Spider-Man curtains because he wants his room to be Spider-Man themed. So yeah, and I'll talk to you guys in the car because I'm sweating and I need to. Okay guys, we are off to the birthday party. Um, we have to stop and go to Dollarama first to get like a bag. I already have the gift. I already showed you guys. Just need to get a bag and a, um, card and maybe some like goodies to put in there some like extra little toys and uh yeah so ella's gonna have so much fun there's a jumpy castle are you excited yep jumpy castle so yeah how excited are you el yep. jumpy <laughs> <laughs> you matched the jumpy castle you need help and then you go good job el I want to go there and play popcorn with her and make her just jump all the way to the top. Literally. <laughs> and make her go flying into jump, the net. Jump. <laughs> jump with her. No. <laughs> go down the slide, guys. Come on. Guys, look how dope this is. Alyssa. You guys already know Alyssa, but from her winning the nail thing, remember? <laughs> <laughs> at the, the stagging now. Come on, Al. Woo! Good job, Logan. She's having too much fun I know. She doesn't even want to go down it. Come on, come down. Come down. Ready? <laughs> She's so light. She just goes flying. <laughs> Your hands are cold. Yeah. I know, mine are too. But if you jump, go get warm. Okay, ready? Oh, face plant. Do you want me to take it off? Shake. Ooh. I don't need this bow. I'm gonna have a good time. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. Let Daddy see. Do it hard. You already made like three wins. Oh! Hey, let Ella have the time. No, youngest, youngest to oldest. Yep. And I'm last. I'm last. Yes, you are. 
I know. Right? Probably destroy the thing. <laughs> Guys, look, it's a, it's a skeleton of a cat. That's terrifying. Ella, you want to bring it home? Do you love it? Should we get one for at home and scare yeah, the other kitties? I want to get him. Here, I'll get you one for at home. You love it? Let's, I'm terrified, let's guys. It's it scary. Good morning guys. So um, I just have my hair up in a ponytail right now and my workout outfit because I'm going to the gym. As you guys know, I've been like super into going to the gym recently. Don't know why. Um, but I'm going to have my coffee first. So before when I lost like 15 pounds last summer, well two summers ago actually, I, no it was last summer right before I met Josh. I was like super in a slim fast because it tasted really good and it had protein and one of my downfalls is like not eating enough protein because i really like carbs like i really like like potatoes bread cheese i like eggs but i don't really like chicken and meat and stuff so it's hard for me to get my protein in so um i used to drink slim fast a lot i know there's a lot of sugar and stuff in it but i decided to buy the powdered version of slim fast and i'm going to put it in my coffee my iced coffee and make it like a little shake so um i think i'm gonna try this i know you're supposed to have protein i'm pretty sure after your workout but i need coffee as my pre-workout because i tried a different pre-workout and I had like a panic attack so i can only use coffee as my pre-workout so we're gonna try that right now and tell you guys how it tastes i meal prepped yesterday so Every, like, in the beginning of the week, what I do is I take, like, my fruits and vegetables and I wash them immediately. So if I have, like, apples, banana, well, I guess bananas you don't wash, but apples, grapes, like, anything that I know that, like, we're going to be eating throughout the week, I always take them off of the, like, the vine and I wash them immediately because then I'll eat them more often if they're already here and I could just, like, literally grab a handful and eat it because if I don't, I'll, like, literally be like, it's too much work. I know I'm lazy, but I'm telling you, if you get grapes and you wash them, take them off the vine and then put them in, like, a little little thing first you and your family are way more likely to eat it um and then i have my meal prep containers um i think i'm missing a meal prep container oh no it's right here okay so i have two salads um for some lunches and then i have four meal prep containers for the week so i just have like potatoes shrimp and green beans or salmon two of them is salmon two of them is shrimp two of them have green beans two of them have mixed vegetables and then they all have potatoes and then i have two salads because i like to like switch up my lunches like sometimes i like a salad sometimes i like like something unhealthy like a sandwich or something like that so i have only two salads and then there's a hard-boiled egg in there some bacon bits and some other stuff um but yeah so I'm going to try. I get my cold brew from Zares. I usually make it myself, but I got rid of my Keurig machine and bought a new one and it hasn't come in yet. So I have to just eat and drink this cold brew. So I like to drink my coffee, wait about 20 minutes and then go to the gym. So I'm gonna try to mix this and we're gonna see what it tastes like. So I got Babe. Okay, so like his mom got us like a bunch of Lindors last year and he left one night and I just kind of ate like all of them. And there was like these cookies and cream one things, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah, I never tried this one before. But cookies and cream is like my favorite. Yeah, so I've been I've been trying to find them. This was the only package. The only package at Winners. Oh shit. They're so bomb. Um also, Josh is eating a pogo for breakfast, but it's a breakfast one. And the UPS guy literally just said thank you. He flirted with me and Josh is, didn't even care. And I was like, cool. You're not even jealous. He's an old UPS guy. Who cares? He wasn't old? What? No, he's like 22. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm fucking him up. So have fun. I just want him to be jealous. Um, no, he, he was like he was like 30. No, he's probably like 50. <laughs> um. Anyways, we've have so the many. Fuck is this? It's fucking heavy. It's a table, but I'm not I'm not opening it. I'm selling it oh. or returning it. Anyways, we have so many packages coming today, like, because Josh was ordering all of his stuff for his, um, plant stuff, and then I have, like, 
contact paper, like just a bunch of stuff. And the UPS guy literally was like, thank you for keeping me in business. I'm dead as fuck. He literally said that. Literally all of them know me. The Purilator guy knows me. The DHL guy knows me. Um, the FedEx guy is dating my aunt. She probably not leave this in the carpet where you can't see it. <laughs> she leaves a knife in the fuzzy carpet and it's under there and I step on it. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, what is this? I, I, if it was facing this one, my foot would have been a, like sushi. I had to use it. I have to use it to open packages. So put it on the table. Don't leave a knife where I'm standing. Anyways, um, I'm doing something with that table, so I'm going to show you guys my process of what I do. Carly, what are you doing? I'm changing our table from wood to white. Yeah, she ordered a different table, but she just wanted to try this first. Because I'm But it's looking good, though. Because I couldn't find one that did the lift top that was all white. That wasn't like less than six hundred dollars, and I'm not gonna spend six hundred dollars on a table. That's ridiculous. Did you hate the wood? I don't hate the wood. I just want it our house to look more bright, like white and gray. Mm, good idea. You know. And she's doing a good job. Look, actually looks really good. Thanks, babe. We'll show you guys the after. Okay, guys. I finished putting the contact paper on. It doesn't look all that good. I kind of like. Messed up a couple parts, like especially like on the inside underneath the glass, like you guys can see, like it looks kind of bad. But for the most part, it was an easy way to get my whole entire table to be white without having to buy a new table. So the next step is that I wanna change this to a chrome knob. So I ordered some on Amazon, not sure if it's gonna fit, but let's see. I actually don't mind the knob now that the whole table's white, but we're gonna see how it works out it took me about an hour this part took the most time this part was really really easy to do this part took the most time because there's like an indent and then yeah but so this part kind of looks not that good but like i said i saved 600 dollars because why buy a whole new table when i can just change it to be white anyways so yeah i'm thinking of changing the top of that to white i'm just not sure yet what i'm gonna do with that i really like it um but i'm not sure yet so I'll show you guys. Let's see if this knob actually is going to change. Okay guys, so this is the final table. I made it more modern and not so farmhouse looking. Um, I love it so much more. I love white, so yeah, I just have to clean that off. But yeah, for the most part, like it looks good. Obviously you could tell it's like DIY, but it's not super bad and it saved me hundreds of dollars. So, and I still get the same table and it still functions. So yeah. Okay, guys, so my new Keurig is in. Today is basically a day of unpack pack unpacking. Unboxing new things. Um, we have so many boxes of stuff that came in today that we have to put everything away. Um, but anyways, my new Keurig came in. The reason why I love this Keurig is it can do a pot or a single serve uh, serving, and it also has a scheduled time. Um, my other one didn't. I've been looking for one that has an automated uh, time schedule. So this one I just tried right now. I have my coffee grounds in it. I have my Kahlua mocha coffee. Um, what I'm doing right now is setting it to auto brew a whole cup of a whole, um, sorry, pot of coffee at 7 p.m. And it's going to brew 12 cups and it's going to do it at 7 p.m. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge and then we're going to have iced coffee for the week. Um, really cheap, really easy. And then we'll use, uh, the K-Pods for any time that we have normal coffee, but I've been really into iced coffee recently. Um, yeah, I think it's good to always have like iced coffee in the fridge, right? So yeah, I have it going to brew this and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and then now we have iced coffee. So I love it. This is for the K-Pods and then right here is for the whole entire pot of coffee. So I got a new Keurig, guys. The only thing I didn't like is that it only came in black. I don't mind the black, but I wish it would have came in like white or even silver would have been better. Um, but yeah, it's fine. So this is a dinner of a man. Uh, yeah. A man who doesn't have dinner cooked for him because I decided to meal prep this week. Honestly though, when you're high, like this is a really good smell. Um, so he's editing today's vlog and eating corn pops. We had them the other day and we've been like obsessed with them since because we've had them in our like, I don't know, I feel like cereal is one of those things. You, once you like, you forget about it, 
And then you have it once. And, and you're like, like, oh my gosh. Shit. I used to eat like a whole box of cereal Bro, as a kid before. I used to have like. Before bed. No, nah, I'd wake up in the morning and have a full bowl. I would just leave the box and the milk yeah, right have, next to me. I would have more than one bowl every time I had cereal for sure. Me too. Okay, so I'm eating this salad. This is kind of like my first meal other than. I had a hard boiled egg today. That Slim Fast kept me full. Like I honestly could still not eat right now. If I'm being honest with you, but I'm eating because I know I have to and because I meal prepped it So I'm gonna eat it. Um, and then I have dinner, but it's already five So it's like technically already dinner time But I probably won't go to bed till like 11 today because I have to do three videos I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna eat this. Don't mock me, bitch What? <laughs> so you can call me one, but I'm just kidding. He doesn't call me one guys. I'm just joking. I'm just joking Um yeah, I'm gonna eat the salad and then I'm gonna get ready and do a get ready with me super late at night. So I'll probably stay up late to get my makeup's use out of it. What do you think the best cereal is? Corn Pops or Fruit Loops. Really? Goodbye. Nesquik. Oh, Nesquik's good too. Nesquik's super good. Okay, so it took 10 minutes for my Keurig to brew a whole cup of coffee, whole cup, whole pot of coffee. That doesn't look like 12 ounces. Is that 12 cups? I don't know. I don't know how to tell. Should we see what it, how black the coffee is? I want to see how strong it is. Oh, oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Ooh. Focus. Okay. So I tried the coffee and it tastes sour. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't taste right. So I'm trying it again with less coffee. I feel like maybe it was too strong, if that's even possible. Um, so I have less coffee grounds in it. So hopefully that makes it taste better. I'm not really sure what went wrong with it. So we're trying it again. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to eat my dinner now because now I'm getting hungry. It is 7.20 in the afternoon, and I'm going to eat my meal prep of shrimp, potatoes, and, oh, this one's salmon, and vegetables. So, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's just 100 grams of shrimp, 150 grams of potatoes, and then, like, a cup and a half of mixed vegetables. I'm probably going to put ranch on my potatoes and some butter on my vegetables. Everyone? <laughs> it's bedtime. Well, I have to do two videos before bed and he's downstairs making music. And I know that we're not going to make an, an outro, outro, is that what it's called? What? Outro, finish the video. We're not going to oh, end, yeah. we're not going to be able to end the video because I have to do two more vid videos and he's going to be downstairs I'm making music. Up, so we'll have to just we'll vlog in the morning. Even if there is anything that I'm going to add, because I probably will add a little bit more, then that will be before this, but... This is our outro, so um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying the vlogs, don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Also, shout out to Baby for editing all of the vlogs. Let us know down below if you guys like his editing Yeah, job. let me know. Let me know what I should do extra. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm looking really cute, I know. Yeah, she is. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye. Don't take no time off. Bad bitch tripping. She throwing my vibe off. Flooding it down. I'ma still shine when you turnin' the light off Know she gon' ride, yeah Yeah, she be screamin' when I'm up inside, yeah She don't get tired She come to the crib, I don't gotta invite, yeah Don't take no time off Bad bitch trippin', she throwin' my vibe off Floodin' in diamonds I'ma still shine when you turnin' the light off Know she gon' ride, yeah